What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. In today's fillet demo, I'm going to show you how to fillet up this fish known as a red porgy. Super plentiful reef fish, delicious white meat, very similar to a snapper. And then in today's fillet demo, I'm going to be using this 8 inch Dexter flexible fillet. I'm going to have it linked for you guys in the description box below. So snapper grouper, what I like to do is, here's this fish's peck fin. I like to go in right here and start my initial piercing and cut and then go with the scales and a thing with snapper grouper is since they got bigger scales f angle your knife to go into the scales rather than straight up and down because you're going to have an easier time getting into them once you make that initial cut right there behind the pectoral fin take your knife just take the tip and just go very superficially from head to tail on the very outside edge so all you're doing essentially right now you're setting yourself up for success. Once you got that going, rest your knife on the fish's spine. Make sure you're in contact with the fish's spine at all times. And then just continue to separate the fillet from the bone. Just like so. So we do this until we reach the fish's backbone. This backbone runs right down the center of the fish, as you guys can imagine, the center of the tail all the way to the head. Do that. Once you do that, snapper, grouper, porties, they all have a pretty big rib cage right here and a big set of pin bones. So take your fillet with one hand and take your knife and break through the pin bones right here. They're gonna be right here in the center. Once you break through them, you're gonna expose that rib cage. Now you can take your knife and go on top of the rib cage right here. Once you start to get on top of it, take your knife, go on one side of the backbone angle down now you guys see the tops exposed your backbones exposed the rib cage now you can finish out your fillet and the reason i like to do it this way i know it's a very popular thing to do with smaller snapper and porgies is to just knock off the side the reason i don't like to do that is because then you knock off the whole rib cage and you're missing a lot of meat there with this method there's no rib cage in there. So all those rib bones are already out of your fillet and stay on the fish. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Knife going into the scales, down, flip your fish around. For me, I like to go from the head to the tail now. So I like to go from the head to the tail, same thing, all the way here. And then now I will continue out my fillet and I'll work up towards the head on that fish's spine. Just really making sure my knife is on the spine. All the way to the backbone. Once you get to the backbone, once again, break through the pin bones right here. Once we're through the pin bones, knife on that rib cage. And that's it. So you guys see, there's your porgy. So check it out, here's our beautiful filleted porgy. You guys see, we left nothing on there. Make sure that knife is on that spine at all times. You guys can hear there's nothing but bones on there. Now set your carcass aside. Now we take our porgy fillet. Always when you skin fish, start from the tail, work your way up towards the head. You got a slight angle towards the skin and just push away from you. Trying to use the entire length of the blade. Now watch this. You flip that over, there's nothing left there but the skin. Porgy's got a pretty minimal bloodline, very similar flesh to a snapper as you guys see. Now those pin bones that we saw earlier, we gotta remove those. So we take our knife on one side of the pin bones, the other side of the pin bones, lift this up, and cut it away. If you have the time and want to, you can also pull those out with a pair of tweezers. So that's it. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, comment below. Like the video if you haven't already, subscribe for more filet videos, and we'll catch you in the next one.